am Groot is a series of original shorts on Disney Plus focusing on, you guessed it, Groot, or more specifically, Baby Groot. They are each five minutes long and detail a fun little adventure that Groot had sometime between the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie and Avengers Infinity War. The first one that's called Groot's First Steps takes place not too long after Guardians 1, and the last four take place not long after Guardians 2. These were very cute, which makes sense, considering they're meant for very little kids, but it was nice that they could be enjoyed by all ages. They weren't too childish. There were actually a couple very funny jokes in there. There were a couple very dark jokes in there, some things Groot did that I'm like, that's some very questionable behavior, and it was a nice distraction from everything else, you know, from all these heroes saving the world, from the shit that's happening in the real world, it was cool to just spend 25 minutes just watching Baby Groot just going on really stupid hijinks and doing stuff like finding a civilization of really little creatures that basically see him as a god. There are five of these, and they're each a total of five minutes long although over a minute's devoted to credits, so they're really three and a half minutes pushing four, um, but yeah, they're pretty short. And I'm not saying they needed to be long, but I'm surprised they didn't hit like eight minutes or whatnot. Also, it really bothers me that these aren't all grouped as a series on Disney+. Plus. They're all separate things, so you have to watch one, then go back to the homepage, then click on the next one, then go back to the homepage, then click on the next one, so on and so forth until you've watched all five. That bothers me. Also, they handle the Marvel Studios intro in a really cool way, and that's all I'm going to say about that. The first one is obviously about Groot's first steps out of his pot and the hijinks that ensue. It's fun, it's cute, but the second one called The Little Guy might have been my favorite mainly because it had some actually very funny jokes. There was one in there involving a time jump that made me laugh out loud. I'd say episode three called Groot's Pursuit was my least favorite. The ending was hilarious, but the actual story of the episode just wasn't anything interesting. I'm sure a little kid would love it, but Groot having a dance off with kind of a water reflection of himself, to me, should have been cooler than it was. And I know it sounds like I'm critiquing this kid's shorts too harshly, but considering the other four were really good, yeah, that's what kind of bothered me. Episode four, surprisingly dark. It was hilarious. Now, episode five was clever. It was very clever, and it had a cameo by a fan favorite character who's actually voiced by their live action counterpart. And it was a cool way to end these. All right, let's talk about the animation style, because this show, I'm going to call it a show, was 100% CG animated. Now, Groot looks almost as good as he does in the movies. I'd say he looks 2% worse than he does in the movies, but there were times where I was like, yeah, it just looks like Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And same with Rocket Raccoon, who is in this series. He shows up at one point. He looks great also. Everything else looks more cartoonish, but it's very, it's very well animated. It doesn't take you out of it. But things like other ships and some other aliens and even stuff like a toilet that you see at one point, those are very clearly cartoons. They look amazing. There's some shots where I think they're live action. But every once in a while, it is funny when you see Groot, who looks as good as he does in the movies, uh, interacting with something that's very, very clearly a CG animation. But it didn't really take me out of it, because it was just animated that well, and I hope they use this animation style for more stuff. It was a really beautiful animation style. The way it both looked like a cartoon and live action at the same time, it made things look like they were paintings. There's one establishing shot of a spaceship that looked like it could have been a painting. It was beautiful. Here's what's cool about these shorts. I would watch them again. I, expect, I expected them to be a one and done. I thought I would watch them once, review them, and forget about them, but that's not the case. I will definitely watch these again. I'm looking forward to when they put more out because they're a fun little thing to watch. And when I do my little Guardian Saga rewatch before three, 
I'll go ahead and toss these in there. All in all, this was a very fun series that I was glad I watched this morning, and I am looking forward to seeing more I Am Groot. But there you guys go. There's my short and sweet little review of I Am Groot. Did you see it? What did you think about them? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, leave a like on this video, subscribe, click on the bell icon to receive all notifications from the MCHQ. That's going to be it. Have a great day, guys.